Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. It ain't the sun ain't shining outside of us, but the sun is always shining inside of you, Scorpios. You are the sun, okay? Uh, and that's on point blank, period. So welcome back. Thank you for returning to this channel. I really do appreciate you guys so, so much. Shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. I hope this video finds you guys absolutely amazing with all of your needs absolutely met and taken care of, all right? Uh, so Scorpio, it is a general, so it's not gonna resonate for everybody. It just came, it, and it just came, okay? <laughs> So only take the part that fits in this we got the rest. I said I only take the part that fits in this we got the rest. Yeah. Yeah. So only take the part that fits <laughs> and disregard the rest. Yeah. So I've already did Aquarius and Pisces. Shout out to the cross watchers if you just so happen to be a Pisces. Uh, it's all about you. You know, you are our family in the water side with the Cancer, Scorpios and the Pisces here. So it's always some type of similarities. But it's one thing that I do recognize that seems to be kind of kind of the same uh, with your reading, Scorpio and Pisces, is the need to take control. Uh, control. It's like you got all this power and y'all not using this Scorpio name. I, I ain't talking crap to you because I'm a Scorpio too. So uh, like, like whatever this reading is, I have to take out of it what I feel is for me too because that's how I get my messages. And if I just so happen to scroll across another reader, like the title, you know, something, you know, you know, because we're all looking for answers. We're all looking for clarity. We all want to know that we're on the right track. Um, but it ain't no such thing as right or wrong. Once again, you might get a different experience, but if you are in it, you're supposed to be in it for a reason. So uh, this is a general once again. So please like, share and subscribe. So check it out, though, Scorpio. Your main energy is lead, lead into my heart, into my soul. Yeah, I, I be feeling like that's the emperor energy, but could be dealing with an Aries. It says lead. Somebody has authority. It's almost like demanding and commanding your authority, standing within your power and making it do what is Scorpio do, because your next card here is reaching out. Now, for some of y'all, it may be time for you to connect. Some of y'all need to step out outside of your comfort zone and take the lead. But check it out, Scorpio. I know that this is telling you something because your third card is take the lead. So if this ain't spirit, it's, and then you got the sacred shock, I think that's based on your desires, your intimacy, uh, all of those, you know, uh, passionate things. Because some of y'all not taking the lead when it's really in your power. For somebody, it could be everything that you want, uh, wants you back, but it's not going to pursue you because you won't learn your lesson. If it's not now, you know, you, you can recall in your own life sometime Things are easier to acquire than others because there is a lesson in everything. So if you find it hard, if you find yourself face uh, against opposition, it's not to destroy you. It's not to take you down. It's to elevate you and to build you up so that you can know what you really have to work with. And I feel like you have a lot. It says lead, reach out. And then underneath the bottom, it has take the lead. I'm going to read two, both of these lead cards for you, Scorpio, because uh, I can. OK, <laughs> and it's because it's you, Scorpios. All right. So let's check out the number four. And look, you got number four, number three. Look, three, three, four. See? And then you have two sacral chakra. And then you got sadness and isolation. Three. So ooh, I see a lot of threes, but I do see trust, which is the full energy completely over. So a spirit is telling you to trust the process that you're going through. You could be going through a third party interference of some type. It could be somebody externally interfering into your life in some type of way. And spirit is telling you to take control. It could be taking control over your thoughts, command, demand, uh, affirm. Uh, stand on your ground, take control over your house, speak, to, walk through your house and command and demand uh, what it is and what it ain't. Sometimes you have to face it. You know, like, like I always say, I remember my mama used to, she used to get mad at poverty. She used to get angry because she could not provide for her children because she was a divorced woman. She wasn't just a woman like, like I was, a mother with children, you know, with no commitment and things like that. No, she actually did it quote unquote right. And it still ended in divorce, but she would get upset and she would demand 
She will walk through the house decreeing and declaring uh, the power of Psalms in the Bible because she, we grew up Christians. Uh, and now that I realize as an older adult that it may have not, and this is no shade to anybody, I see take the lead. But what my understanding is, is it don't matter what you believe in, y'all. It's not the thing that you believe in. It's the energy that you put into it. Whatever my mama believed in by her faith and her belief made it come to fruition. And like, you know, there's a lot of things that are questionable now to me, but I realized it was her faith. It was her energy that made it come alive. Whatever you believe is going to be true is going to be true for you. Whatever you believe is not going to be it for you is not going to be it for you. Because even though it seems like we have all types of external conflicts, the only conflicts we really have is the conflict from within. Because usually we're not taking our lead and, and, and tapping into the power that we have in our hands already. Sometimes we stay in the shadows. We stay in the back because we feel like it's safer. But your position of power and your position of everything you've been manifesting and desiring may be up front, front and center. So some of you guys were created to be leaders, but because you try to play it safe, you put yourself in the back and spirit said, uh-uh, you better come on because I'm going to put the light on you. Well, you can't hide, God dang it. Spirit's going finna, to finna bring the light to you. So you can't hide anymore. It's time for you to be that leader that you are, Scorpio. It is. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, we got to take the lead first. So this represents enthusiasm, initiative, grounding, and creativity. Strong energies for success are around you, Scorpio, and new opportunities are opening up. So Spirit says tap into this energy to fire up your relationship and bring you all that you desire regarding matters of the heart. Call down the divine flames. We call down the divine flame for Scorpios. <laughs> to ignite your passion and show you the way to achieve your deepest wishes. Don't wait for the other person to make a move, Scorpio. Take the initiative and be bold. Ooh -wee. Spirit telling somebody y'all sitting here saying, they ain't gonna call me now, nah, Spirit, they don't like me. I don't know what it is, Spirit, they don't love me, they don't care. And Spirit say, you will never know if you don't check and see. So I'm finna challenge y'all. If, it, if it's representing somebody here who you're playing is safe and you're waiting on them to reach out, then Spirit's telling somebody to take the lead and you reach out. So I challenge somebody to reach out to somebody you scared to reach out to, all right? And then you have the lead card. You got take the lead and lead and reach out. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. It's like the only way it gets hard is because we make it hard. When we get through thinking about things and putting things there that are not and playing it safe and uh, afraid of our own shadow and, you know, those things like that. And and little do we know all of the things is, is supposed to be for us to learn uh, for our highest good. And we don't see it until we're forced to actually be in it. So it says guide, prioritize, act, structure, effort, reason. So this lead in the matters of the heart, the energy of this car can both help, excuse me, <laughs> lead. It says the energy of this lead energy can both help and hinder. Examine the role that you play in your relationship. Do you take the lead and guide the direction of the relationship or do you follow the other person? If you lead, are you forcing your will on the other person? If you follow, are you own are your own needs being met? A solid relationship involves give and take, lead and follow. Uh, there has to be an even exchange of energy. And this is true for all relationship. So Scorpio, this card reminds you to guide, not dominate. And you know, y'all be dominating. Now, now, now Scorpio, you be scanning folks. Now, now Scorpio, now, now we're going to talk because you know, we be, you know, we be, you know, we be dominant because you are very, very passionate. You're very, very aggressive in your love. And the most person, you're going to scare them. I don't care how your intentions may have not been against that. It's just going to, it's just going to push them away. So it's about balancing, taking the lead, but at the same time, should you? 
Because if something has been done and you keep on poking it and poking it and poking it, sometimes, because I feel like there is delays, maybe this is necessary, but I feel like somebody is telling somebody that they need to do something. The spirits say you have been st- you have been stagnant, you have been stuck in this way for far too long, and it's time for you to do something. That's what spirit is telling. It's time for you to take the lead, see, and get your power back, child. See, spirit say don't let nobody bring you down now, Scorpios. Don't take your power back now. You you know how your where your power lies. See there, they, they they need to wash their clothes. How, how can they f with you? I mean, how, how could they do anything? It's not going to stop anything. See, so that's what spirit's telling you to take your lead, take your power back. You may have allowed a relationship to get the best of you, where it's causing delays and hesitations, where you're second guessing yourself. So spirit is telling you to take your power back. So you have which card was it? The hangman, the magician. It's a Scorpio, Queen of Wands, the High Priestess. You also got the Ten of Swords. Spirit say, don't let it keep you down. They go to King of Wands in the reverse, taking it like it is. The Chariot, Cancer, Two of Wands, mm. and the Emperor. Underneath the bottom, you have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is in the reverse. Eight of Swords is in the reverse. And you got the Lovers in the reverse. Some of y'all uh, have broken free from toxic situations, okay? Or there is a need for you to. And Spirit is telling you, you got everything you need. You, I mean, Spirit is like, it's, it's almost like Spirit walking up and whispering in your ears. What's up, Scorpio? You gonna let that dirty shirt do talk crap to you? That... That dirty shirt dude ain't even on your level. How, how could they be on your level Scorpio, and their shirt is dingy? I mean, look at you. You're all vibrant. You're all spiffy. You're all jazzy. You, you what they call litty lit lit lit. <laughs> how, how, how could they even utter a word to you? Get out your head and take your power back. They must not know who they messing with. Ooh. Maybe y'all got to flex on somebody or maybe... The same person here who know that they were in low vibrational energy or really was bringing your energy down. Maybe things are changing in their life and they're man enough. Maybe they've grown wiser. Maybe you, you, maybe the things that you go through are the things that is supposed to make you grow wiser, make it, make you look at things more maturely, um, uh, more, um, logically as opposed to emotionally. And cause when you look at things emotionally, it's going to come from an emotional place. Some things you got to get your heart and your emotions out of it in order to make a sound decisions, or you're going to be stuck with that decisions. Okay. And Scorpio's Scorpio ain't got time. Scorpio got the whole world to see and conquer. Scorpio too busy manifesting better things in life. So sometimes you may have situations that may try to re-enter your life um, as a form to see where you're re- really where you're at. Are you growing? Are you learning? So you have the hangman, the Pisces, um, the hangman, the high priestess, the chariots, the magician. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, which all of this is Cancer and Pisces. I don't see Scorpio. And you have the Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have the Emperor, the King and the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Mm. So this is a lot of spiritual growth and spiritual power here with the High Priestess, baby, and the Magician card, along with the Queen of Wands. So see, I, I'm getting a petty Scorpio because this queen of wands will flex on you, flex on my ex. Y'all might be flexing on y'all exes unintentionally and they can't handle it. And maybe you're flexing on somebody unbeknownst and it's going to make them level up. You could be dealing with another fire sign that's very, very competitive against you. You know what I'm saying? You do this and you may not even be doing nothing at there, but y'all could be... <laughs> Y'all could be playing tit for tat towards each other. And it could be somebody that's showing up in your energy saying, you know what? Back in the day, I didn't know what to do with you. I didn't know what to do with us. I wasn't ready for this, but I've had to learn some things along the way. 
and now I'm choosing wiser things. And it could very well be you choosing better situations for yourself. A wiser person here where you know that you're better than that. You have so much to offer as well as so much to lose. So you don't want to compromise because you know how it feels to give way too much and you get your heart broke, Scorpio. That'll make you level up and pull back too. So it's almost like you're not going to give up your happiness, but at the same time, you're going to approach love differently for fun, not so serious and just see where it goes. And I feel like that's the best thing. So let's see. If your heart isn't in it, why keep me hanging on? If your heart wasn't in it, I'd have gone long ago. If your heart wasn't in it, why keep me hanging on? Just tell me and I'll be gone for your love. You treat me like a stranger, as if I wasn't there, oh baby. And after all we've been through, can we still be that naive? <laughs> Scorpio, I was, oh my God, I felt that, man. It's like, look, why are you playing games? I mean, I know we having fun, but dang, is that it? You could have been the one that put something on somebody's mind where they like, you show sure right. Why am I playing with all this good opportunity? Somebody could be saying, what the heck? Why am I playing with all this good Scorpio opportunity? <laughs> Besides that, my shirt dingy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's see. Let's see. So if you're experiencing delays, pauses, maybe you have taken time off from chasing after or caring about an M and about any M body other than yourself. Do have the three of cups in the reverse. It's almost like you saying, you know what? I'm ready to get serious about something now. And it seems like you're not ready for what I want. So I might have to leave you behind. I may have to go into the office and create the one that I want. Because <laughs> you are you are replaceable. So let's see from a Scorpio's. That spirit is encouraging you to take the lead. Scorpio's take the lead. Lead. Reaching out. Could be overthinking things, nine of swords. It could be somebody you're dealing with that's going through this. They're they're insecure, so they can't. It could be telling. Look, y'all, spirit could be telling your person, "Won't you stop being such a wiss and take the freaking lead already?" I'm tired of you sitting up here late at night, steady thinking about Scorpio and and, and and manifesting and doing all types of things with Scorpio's energy. Why don't you stop being such a chump and take the lead? That's what spirit is telling your person. See, that's what I feel like. Ooh. Ha. See there? They're causing delays in something that probably could be beautiful. Now, it could represent y'all too. It could be spirit telling you, look, stand up, stand on your power, child. Stop texting me. <laughs> They dodging your calls up there, Scorpio. They, they, because they say, well, why are you steady calling us? I'm so tired of you reaching out, talking about you was just in the neighborhood. But every time before you leave, you always asking questions and you already know the answer to them. If you just take the lead and stand into your power because you got it. You know, this emperor is very, very wise. So it's time for you to either y'all, Scorpio, it's time for you to take the lead and, and boss up. Act like you know, because the high priestess, she know, and especially she knows she know with that magician card. So it's almost like act like you know and stop doing stuff that's contradicting who you are, like stressing out about a situation when all you got to do is put on your ball shoes and go out there and get whatever it is that you want, desire or need or fantasize or dream about or whatever. All right. So you got the hangman, honey, with that nine of swords, Pisces energy, the higher fence. I feel like somebody may have been delaying, really committing and really getting serious. And I feel like now it's I feel like spirit is telling somebody your time running out, partner, because in this queen of wands, Scorpio ain't going to be available much longer. 
for somebody, they may be getting an opportunity here. Is it like Spirit saying, look, somebody going to have to stand up and really pursue what they want and stop, <laughs> stop looking for everybody else to help you solve your problems because you're not going to get your lessons out of it. You're not going to know how powerful and strong you really are. See there? Because they go to King of Pentacles in the reverse. See there? So you got the hangman. That has, so somebody here was not looking for no commitment here. Somebody here was uh, adding delays or causing delays uh, because they were not relationship minded, if you will. See, they, they really need a relationship. Somebody can help wash them clothes. <laughs> I'm on one. Don't come for me. I ain't, I'm not taking from the car because we know these cars are very, very highly sought out at the very, very, the bum. They're, they're, they're everything. They are. They're beautiful. This is always my go-to deck. But I'm just saying the energy of this person, we, we're talking about the energy. Let's say this person here is so into themselves, but they're not half the lion that they roar that they are. But they want to put you through unnecessary changes. See, you can tell this person is really, really insecure, but they want you to believe that they're the boss. And all they do is stalk you and watch you behind the scenes. And spirit keep on telling this person, I'm tired of you. So maybe spirit ain't talking to you. Maybe spirit is talking to them like, I'm so tired of you coming and ringing my bell. God dang, here you come again. Somebody holding back or holding on. Somebody may need to let go, see. Whew, that's why fear is saying you getting on my nerves. I'm tired of you calling me. I thought you, I thought you was all of that. <laughs> Somebody, ooh, Scorpio, see, Scorpio, this, this is what it is. They either telling you was telling them. I feel like now that I see a king of swords, you know you intimidating to this person. I feel like you done put something on somebody mind who mind wasn't ready. <laughs> They may have tried to hang in there, <laughs> but I feel like they lost themselves in the Scorpio sauce. And Scorpio may have had to go ahead on and disassociate yourself, remove yourself out of this. And now here they are all in their head. King of Swords. All right, what's up with the magician for Scorpios? Y'all hear the siren? Why is the magician showing up for my Scorpios? The full Aries energy Pisces. Yeah, I've been hearing so many sirens going off so long. I'm talking about just like out of nowhere. It's almost like the energy has shifted. And you can tell in time it start getting spring and certain times of the year, it seems like it's just a lot of activity. But it's almost like it's pre, it's too soon. It's rushed activity. People can't wait to get out here, y'all. People are already out here. I'm just saying everything is everything is everything. So you need to focus on, ooh. Ooh, we child, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like somebody's saying, you know what? I know you think I ain't on your level. I know you think that. I, I know you think somebody says they know you think a certain type of way about them. They already know. But they say you have no idea what they really capable of or who they really, really are. So now you got the magician card, darling, with that freaking emperor. I feel like someone has a point to prove to you, Scorpio. Somebody say, yeah, you intimidate me. Yeah, but, but, but you know what? I feel like somebody could be saying that it didn't work. The thing that they were trying to pull over, pull off, it didn't work. Somebody may be looking at like you may have revealed that they're not as tough as they try to appear. But somebody is realizing that you are real, whoever you are. You just have opened up their wounds, I feel like. And now it's almost like a uh, a dare, like a challenge. Oh, okay, you know what? Well, you got me, but you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm not who you think I am. I'm going to show you I can be this person. Could very well be that something is about to change between you and this person or something is drastically changing in their life. And it could be for some of y'all. Y'all manifested this person boss up. Y'all are probably seeing this person as somebody that you would like to see and you want to see the best in them. And this could be somebody totally different. You could be saying, I'm tired of you, king of swords. You just need to hush while I push you, <laughs> push you down that hill. <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. Don't take it serious. I'm just saying. They, they, are, they, are, they, are, they so weird. It's like they creepily watch you here. But they try to act like they're unbothered. It's like a weird, a weird, I feel like it's like a geeky, nerdy vibe here. And I feel like this person here, either you are manifesting this 
or they are definitely manifesting you, Scorpio, once again. And I feel like spirit is telling this person, stop it. Just man up or just do it already. I'm tired of hearing you talk about Scorpio. I'm tired of hearing about you saying you hate you did this and you wish you could have would have did that. Spirit said, instead of you talking about it, I'm going to need you to be about it. Ooh, -wee. I said, ooh, -wee, child, yeah, yeah. You're always on their mind. I'm talking about when I tell you they 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 harassing spirit. Spirit are tired of hearing this person and that go to devil card. I tell you, y'all must have y'all must have got somebody hooked on you who mind wasn't ready for that type of stuff. And, and, and now that you done had to flex on your ex and you done went on back your business, now they praying to God and praying to spirit to uh, about you and spirit to say, I'm tired of you coming up here. You, you, you can do it. I'm going to need you to take the lead because that's what Scorpio want. They want a leader. They don't want you to back down. They want you to come on with it and prove how much you really do or want them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It ain't time for you to stay safe in that wheelchair on the front porch. You better put you some spinners on it. <laughs> You better throw some these on it. You better throw something on it so they can get you some, so you can move fast. Okay. <laughs> Spirit telling somebody don't come for me, Scorpio, that they need to take the lead and reach out. I'm telling you. That, that's what spirit telling somebody. The spirit said, I don't want to hear about no excuses. I don't want to hear about nothing. You better, you better get some WD-40 on them wheels. You better, you better go spray them down. You better add some want something. You better put some mirrors and some windows in it and add your little tin in it and go put some woofers. <laughs> and you better go make it do what it do, okay? That's what spirit is telling this person. Spirit say, I'm tired of you. <laughs> I can't believe you. I can't believe you came from up here. <laughs> you done forgot. So somebody you dealing with done forgot the powers that they really have, Scorpio, because they met you. And the reason why they done forgot all of their mighty powers they once had is because they ain't never met nobody like you. And I feel like you give this person a run for their money. And all of the games they may have used to play back with everybody else, it don't work with you. Because you already know what it is and what it ain't. And you could have been the only one who got away from their toxic ways here and they can't stand it. Because now they're stuck watching you and scared to take the lead because spirit got them blocked. They can't call up. They can't call help no more. It's like everybody's scratching their head and running when they see this person coming. Here they keep on repeating the same thing over and over again. Man, I know it sounds like a broken record, man. Well, what is up with them? It's that those people get go down there and they take that experience and they forget who they are. That's your person to forget or they never knew who you were. Maybe you need to take the lead, Scorpio, or maybe your person needs to take the lead. But definitely it seems like this person do. It do. Now, what's up with this uh, Ten of Swords? What's up with the Ten of Swords? I'm trying to make it too long, but it's done got good. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Scorpios? Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Page of Cups. They said, baby, I'm sorry. God dang. You know what? I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. See? King of Wands in the upright now. <laughs> oh, this person, I feel like this, I feel like this person know you are hotty and you are a trotty, okay? And that you ain't gonna hang around and chase after them. Who gonna chase after this? You're not even gonna walk behind this, okay? Y'all need, y'all need some, y'all need some action. Y'all need that roughneck type of energy. <laughs> Because Scorpio will run away from this or try to run. Scorpio is not going to be compatible with this. How in the world? Where's she going? Where's she going to sit at? She's going to have to sit on your lap. Huh? Why you not talk? <laughs> you, I mean, you in a one seater. After, is, is, that, is that on purpose? You don't want nobody to ride with you. Well, you know you can't hang with this then. I feel like y'all done mess with somebody here that 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 wasn't ready for your type of Scorpio ness ness, and there go the chariot card, and here this person is 
uh, wanting to stand in this power so freaking bad and be the man that you say that they ain't. Maybe y'all said that. Maybe you say you ain't half the man that my man is. You ain't the man that I need anyway. You need to come up. <laughs> maybe y'all said this or maybe they're so insecure that they feel like it's a competition with you and that and that you don't really respect them or you don't really enter them like this. I was like somebody wants you to want them. See? <laughs> And I want you to want me to just like I want. This person say, I can make you put your phone down. They say they bet they can get your attention back on them Scorpios. That's what it feels like they're saying. Somebody wants your attention. It's almost like, see, and there it is again, see? <laughs> There go the lovers card. I told you, you make y'all make somebody feel like they can't hang with you because I feel like y'all are different and they can't handle that because they're not used to putting themselves out there that they play it safe. They're going to overthink things. And I feel like you intimidate them, but they want you so goddamn bad. They're going to have to stand up until they're going to have to really take the lead in that king of wands and uh, go roll that chair under the shed somewhere. And it's time for you to come out with the bike. <laughs> Oh, Spirit says it's time for you to ride out with this bike because you got the chariot card. It's almost like somebody's realizing that they, they're going to have to um, live a little. They're going to have to uh, get out of their comfort zone. I feel like somebody's been playing it safe for far too long and Spirit has made it hard for them. Like they got to go. They got they got to go to the un, they got to go to the forbidden Scorpio side. Because once again, uh, even though you intimidate this person, this person still desires your attention on them. Somebody don't like the thought of you not looking at them in a romantic way because they may not be your your ordinary type. So somebody they may start working out. God dang it. They may come around in, in one of those, you know, one of those, those muscle shirts and stuff, you know, and it's probably like 30 degrees outside and they got the muscle shirt on. <laughs> you know how they say, hey, Scorpio, how you doing? You know how y'all be doing? Uh. <laughs> hey there, Scorpio. <laughs> hey. <laughs> And you sitting there just taking it all in. You know you're going to like it as the queen of wands. You're like, look at this fool. <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> Somebody is getting in shape for you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. Somebody working on themselves just so you can look at them like that, honey. Mm. So now you got the king of wands in the reverse. The same king of wands in the reverse is going to come back to somebody totally transformed. They're going to come back flexing their pecs. And they're going to come back to try to tempt you because they want you to admire them. They want... I feel like somebody wants you to be into them. Somebody wants you to desire them like they desire you. Okay. King of Wands in a reverse. See the sun card. See the sun's about to shine on this. Could be a Leo for some of y'all. But I feel like this person, you make this person feel insecure because they're not used to dating. They're not used to being out here forefront. I feel like this is not a, a, a see. This person going to come back to some of y'all totally changed. They go to six of cups. And they're coming back because they want you to want them. See, ooh, it just flopped on over, baby. Look at that. Ace of Cups, see there, Scorpio? I feel like y'all got somebody that's so into you, but they know that they're not your type or they don't look like. Somebody wants you to want them physically like they want you, but they, they may be looking at you like you too much for them. So they, they want they want to work out. They want to get themselves in shape so you will want them, Scorpio. Ooh. What's up with this two of wands for my Scorpios? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Got that six of cups. You got that Leo energy. You got that Capricorn energy. You got that page of circle. They checking you out. I feel like somebody wants you to look at them like they may see you looking at other people. Or, or, or maybe you've made a comment. Or, or it's just that somebody here really is in their feelings about you. Two of wands, eight of swords choices and decisions here. I feel like this person may look at you like you're very, very outgoing. You're very, very attractive. You could have anybody that you want. And I feel like this person feels like intimidated, especially if this person has feelings for you. And I feel like it is. I feel like somebody does, is in love with you, but you may not look at them like this. Scorpio. I feel like this is an odd couple. It's almost like somebody wants to be the person you would you you would you could find yourself being with because they want you to look at them like that. King of Cups, because this person really is wounded. See, 
See that Scorpio? This person really is wounded because they're really into you. See there? See, this person I already think you some type of fairy godmother, some type of stuff. <laughs> They say, Spirit, I know she ain't real. I know Scorpio ain't real, but I still want them. I still want Scorpio. See there? This person is in love with you. This person is so in love with somebody that they'll be willing to change just to make you love them back. Somebody wants you to not only be in love, they want you to desire them. Now you got that freaking emperor, babe. You got the emperor twice. So like I tell you, this person is going to do some changes just for you. Now, why is the emperor here for Scorpio Aries energy? They say, you ain't got to call nobody else daddy. <laughs> Big daddy right here, mama. A chica poppy here, baby. You ain't got to go nowhere. That's what they saying. Somebody see. Somebody say if they man up, if they made some changes, you'll want them again. That, that's what they want. See? So don't be surprised if somebody, see, don't be surprised they come in and invite you out to dinner or something. They're going to put on a show for you. Somebody been working on themselves. I feel like somebody wants you to see that they can be who you want. The, ooh, Scorpio. See there, Scorpio. Somebody say, you think you know me. You don't even know me. I, I know I'm weird. I know you think I'm weird. I get it. Yes, I got some issues. I get that too. But little do you know. I'm in love with you, Scorpios, to the point where if it'll make you really love me, I'll be the person you want me to be because you deserve it with that emperor. Ooh, we child, yeah, yeah. I just seen a temperance card. This person say, I don't want to run from you anymore. I don't want to play games with you because of my insecurities. Somebody say, I know I can't beat you, so I'm about to join you. <laughs> They say they, they, they finally get it that they cannot beat you. So they're so into you that they're willing to join you, Scorpio Secret. They can't get over you. See, that's the one that Spirit's saying, I'm tired of you, child. You better man up. You better take the lead. See, and there go the Six of Swords. Get out your head. Stop overthinking it. And go ahead on and stretch your stuff and get your person. Now, what's up with this Emperor? Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody's ready to finally invest. Some somebody, I feel like somebody is at, at a stage in their life where they're so into you that they're willing to invest time, resources, energy to prove to you. I feel like somebody's gonna do something big so that you can see that they mean business. So you're not getting you, you're not only getting a interchange in this person, you're getting a full makeover for this person from the inside out, Scorpio. So now you got the chariot. Uh Moving towards victory and success, taking control, uh, finally being able to control things to the point where they can make some positive move forwards towards something that they know is worth having. Ooh, now that go that freaking queen of Pentacles. See, somebody does see you as all of those things, Scorpio. Didn't I see the king of Pentacles in here? Ace of Pentacles, you got the emperor. See the King of Cups. Do got the Emperor in here to see? I, you, wow. So somebody does see you as the one. You know, in order for somebody to want to make these kind of changes, Scorpios, quite naturally, they see a future with you. Ain't nobody gonna go through all these changes just to. Uh, be with someone that they really don't care for. But I feel like this person is in love. Now, what's up with the chariot for Scorpios? It could be you guys moving forward. Mm. Say what? Four ones. There it is. Somebody wants a, somebody wants a union. Somebody can see themselves building something. They go to that page of ones. See, somebody is ready to be happy with you, Scorpio. They feel like you can really make them happy. Nine of cups, there it is. Now, what's up with this queen of wands? See, two of cups, there it is. What's up with this queen of wands for Scorpio? Why is the queen of wands here? See that, Scorpio? You, you done got into somebody's heart or mind to the point where they're kind of in competition with you, but it's almost like somebody want to prove to you that they're not what you think they are, that they can actually be the person for you. What's up with this queen of wands? Ten of swords. Mm. 
<clears throat> What's up with this Queen of Wands? So you may be over it, but here it come. See? The star may have an Aquarius. I feel like this person, you're this person's wish fulfilled, Scorpio. You are. They could be looking at you as a star. They could be looking at you like you get a lot of attention and it's intimidating to them because um, they may feel like they're going to have to fight for your attention a little bit harder with the seven of wands, but they are. <laughs> they are, but they're not going to let you get away, though. So like I say, Scorpio, this person's totally changed. I see somebody working out, eating, eating healthier. But for some of y'all, y'all, y'all may not want this person now. What's up with this high priestess? Pisces energy. Eight of Pentacles. So for some of y'all, y'all not talking to this person. Y'all done moved on. Y'all focused on y'all work. Y'all just living y'all best life. And you're very, very attractive. You're getting a lot of attention. And I feel like this is why this person here wants to get your attention on them. Somebody could be following your post. Somebody could be seeing you on show, social media and see other people. See, they go that Knight of Wands. I feel like they're kind of jealous too, Scorpio. I feel like this is somebody here that is from your past that is kind of jealous that you're getting a lot of attention. And they want, they want you to feel this way about especially if you're saying things to other people like in your post or if you got other people in your pictures and like you're living your life, then somebody wants to be happy with you. Somebody feels left out and jealous is what I feel. Yeah. And so it's almost like somebody may do something drastic like work out or really do some change and just to impress you so that maybe you can look at them like that too. But it worries them. See? See, it's the same person here. They in their head, though, because I feel like this person ain't that like that. And Spirit is telling this person, you better take the lead while you sitting here overthinking things and all this stuff like here. You better get to it because Scorpio and this Queen of Wands is going to be gone. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Empress, what, how long you think this going to be around? Look like Scorpio ready to get out here and get it here. And y'all sitting around here tripping and thinking the wrong things instead of taking action and taking the lead and reaching out and doing what you need to do. So once again, somebody is going to go through a lot of things just to get your attention because they want you to fantasize or want them because I feel like this person really is insecure. I feel like this person is not used to somebody like you, Scorpio. I feel like you kind of, kind of put something on somebody's mind and now they feel like they're forced to level up just to get your attention because they don't even like to think that your attention is on somebody else. All right. So that's your long read. And Scorpio, if it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.